this is our new challenge. And as a challenge, we're, we're up for it. But uh, the key messages are that this will place us as global leaders, but we want to do it in a manner that increases productivity at farm gate. You can reduce your greenhouse gas emissions, you can increase profitability, um, and you can actually make a better farm. So we've shown that between 2005 and 2015, there was a 45% reduction in greenhouse gas emissions associated with the red meat industry. But as emissions globally reduce, if we stay stagnant and remain at the baseline, then we'll become high emitters. The Australian red meat industry can be the prime example globally of how to achieve carbon neutrality by 2030 because it has a lot of available land and this actually permits a very broad range of practices. I think it involves a number of offsets in the beginning while we buy ourselves some time for some research to come through that delivers the bigger uh, gains that allow productivity and reductions in methane. The types of projects that are currently available to producers include vegetation management, so reducing land clearing or revegetating and replanting land, and savannah burning management, which is particularly useful for producers in Northern Australia. It's not one miracle solution, it's a combined strategy of a number of solutions. There are things we can do that feed animals that will reduce methane. There's a breeding of animals that produce less or are more efficient in the amount of methane per unit of product they produce. And then there's a lot of ways in which we can manage animals. And simply getting an animal to an online market a month earlier means there's a month less methane they produce. All the little one percenters, whether it's genetics, whether it's feeding new lambs, whether it's trial feeding or feedlot feeding or drought lots or adding more trees or better pastures, like you put all those little things together and they all add up and you're able to achieve you know, less greenhouse gas emissions and more profitability. We have numerous pathways to reduce emissions and achieve sustainability of our industry. We as an industry will take the lead and we don't need the heavy hand of regulation. Consumers are king and consumers want to know and have the transparency about their food and food production system. We see a world that is increasingly moving towards a carbon constrained future. We see our major competitors and our major markets moving towards carbon policies. Once we have that driver in place, it'll all drive towards the inevitable, which is low carbon agriculture. <laughs>